It's been a while since we discussed Captain Chaos, Donald Trump. Last we checked, he was on an impeachment trial for inciting an insurrection. After two days of some rather emotional arguments, the Democrats have rested their case. In a sweeping summary of their evidence, the House, of, the House prosecutor said that they had proven their charge, that Donald Trump incited the insurrection at Capitol Hill, and that he showed no remorse for an attack that left five people dead. They also insisted that the U.S. Senate's refusal to punish him could pave the way for a future commander-in-chief to subvert the democratic process. We humbly, humbly ask you to convict President Trump for the crime for which he is overwhelmingly guilty of. Because if you don't, if we pretend this didn't happen, or worse, if we let it go unanswered, who's to say it won't happen again? Fair point. And here's another crime that many say Donald Trump is guilty of, hiding the severity of his COVID situation. Remember, he tested positive for the Wuhan virus last year, on the 2nd of October last year to be precise. After downplaying the threat for months, Donald Trump himself tested positive. This was just 31 days before the U.S. presidential election. Now, people familiar with the president's health have revealed that he was sicker. His condition was worse than he publicly admitted. In fact, his COVID situation was apparently so concerning that doctors at one point thought of putting him on a ventilator. He reportedly had extremely depressed blood oxygen levels and a lung problem associated with pneumonia caused by the virus. But Trump's medical team at the Walter Reed Hospital reportedly downplayed the severity of the situation. Anyway, all's well that ends well. Trump was out and about in a matter of days. He contested an election. He fought till the last moment to stay on in power. He was last seen golfing on the eve of his impeachment trial. As prosecutors in Washington presented videos of him inciting violence at Capitol Hill, speaking of which, a stunning video from the impeachment trial is now going viral. It shows former Vice President Mike Pence rushing to safety as a military aide follows him with a huge briefcase. Look at it very closely. Do you know what this is? The nuclear football, as they call it. It's an emergency bag which has a combination of tools which a president can use in case of a nuclear war. It's called the nuclear football. The American president has the sole authority to do so. But a duplicate briefcase also accompanies the vice president. This was that briefcase. This is how close America's codes were from falling into the wrong hands. There was more in jeopardy than just American democracy last month. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.